sounds right there. Welcome back. April is Jazz Appreciation Month, and we are certainly appreciating this jazz combo playing in our studio this morning. They're here to get help get the word out about a celebration of jazz through an art workshop this Saturday offered by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. It's called Jazz Collage and teaching artist Allison Babushi is here to tell us what exactly that is. Good morning. Good morning. So this is a really neat event. I, I had to ask you exactly how it correlates to how the music. Yeah, so what is it? Tell me a little bit more so about it. So we've done it in the past without the live jazz, just listening to jazz as we paint and create our artwork. But we had the fantastic idea this year of including a la live jazz sort of component. Um, Ramar Bearden, the artist who inspires the artwork that we are going to make, was a big fan of jazz. And in fact, even not everybody knows, composed a few things himself in addition to being a visual artist. He composed a famous jazz piece called Seaside that his Peabody High School classmate, Billy Eckstein, recorded. Very cool. And so you brought a piece of artwork with us because with you because this is actually you're physically making art and it's set to live jazz music. Yes, Bearden worked in a lot of different styles, but is probably best known for collage. And collage, I think, is really accessible for a lot of folks because mm -hmm. the so you don't have to sort of start from scratch. You can right. cut. So first we do just sort of a underpainting um, while listening to the live jazz to kind of inspire a mood for our painting. They'll do an underpainting. And then you can see we use tissue paper, music, uh, sheet music, and all kinds of different shapes to sort of create their jazz scene on the canvas. But so I really walk them through each step so no one has to, you don't have to be Leonardo da Vinci to come to the workshop yeah. um, and find some success. And so are you, is the jazz supposed to inspire you? Is it Bearden? Is there, are there any examples set around you to help you? Yes, well Bearden frequently featured jazz musicians in his artwork um, as he also featured his memories from Pittsburgh, his connections uh, visiting Pittsburgh as a youth. And uh, so the imagery that we see in his artwork, I'm hoping they will sort of pick their favorite instrument from what they're listening to or the mood that it invokes for them and put that on their canvas. So, but I'll be there to help them along. I was going to ask. The live musicians will be a major inspiration. I'm so, sure. tell me about the, the help that you'll be providing to some of the people there. So, I really break it down into steps. Um, maybe people go to the different places where you all kind of sort of paint the same canvas and it feels a little safer. I like that idea, but I don't want everyone to do the same thing because right. to me, that's. That's not, we want to all put a, a little piece of ourselves into our right, artwork. I so I encourage everybody, right, to um, work at a level that's comfortable for them and really use imagery that has some meaning for them so that they're, they have a real connection to their artwork. And really, even Bearden in some of his collages, if you look at the people, they're very simple geometric, geometric shapes that he's cut out and put on the canvas. So it's, you know, everyone can make an oval. Everyone can make a rectangle. So we, we really break it down from there. And then we just uh, go crazy with color and our, our feelings inspired by the music. So I was going to say it's, it's detail oriented, but it's also not. Yeah. You no, know, you notice there's no face, right? right? That's right. one of the hardest things in art. Like, oh, I can't make that face right. look right. You don't have to because everybody's going to know. Everybody's going to know it's a musician. It's a person singing. It's a person. Well, you know, and we have a lot of Bearden's examples to inspire us as well. All right, Allison, tell us about the day itself. Uh, who's performing that day? And, and it sounds like it's good for kids of all ages or people of all ages. Yeah, we really have tried to open it up to all ages. In fact, last year in the workshop, I had a mother and a son who took it together Great. and created like a collaborative canvas together, which was awesome. So right. I'm open to any age of person coming in. It's a three hour long workshop, so you really do have time to leave with a finished piece. I mean, right. it might be a little wet. <laughs> carry, but, but you can still take carefully. it home. Right. But you can take it home uh -huh. and feel like you have some success. And then that will be in the Pierce because it's a theater setting, so we can have the, the jazz performers right next to us while we're painting. Um, but then upstairs, there's another painting workshop going on on Saturday too, uh, focused on Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh scenery. Fantastic. So people can choose what inspires them to make artwork on Saturday with and us. And who's performing with you? Uh, the, Thomas Went and his quartet, I believe, will be, right. yeah, the, the guys we're seeing this morning okay. in the studio will be there to inspire us. And we are looking forward to that. And you can come celebrate Jazz Appreciation Month at this art and music event sponsored by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. Again, the Jazz Collage Workshop is this Saturday, so sign up now online to make your own collage and enjoy the music, as you just heard, of the Thomas Went Quartet. And thanks to members of the quartet for playing for us in our studio this morning.